Hello everyone, it's Dr. Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center and today we're going to walk you through a chin liposuction procedure using the Vaser technology. So this procedure helps to get rid of unwanted fat in the chin and jowl area and we do it just under local numbing so you are fully awake for this procedure. A lot of times this under chin fat is hereditary and uh, patients will tell me that no matter how much weight they lose, that chin fat just doesn't want to budge. So this is can be a very stubborn area. In our current patient, she actually did tell us that um, it seems to fluctuate with weight gain and weight loss, but it's definitely a hereditary situation in her case, um, and she just really wasn't able to uh, get rid of it permanently, it would just keep coming back. So we're just gonna take those fat cells out permanently. There were a few options that she was contemplating. We could have done a procedure like cool sculpting, which melts the fat using cold technology. We could have also done Kybella injections to um, liquefy the fat cells, and then also potentially Sculpture, which uses a laser to heat the fat cells. So the first step here that you're watching me do right now is the tumescent anesthetic and so I'm just injecting a solution that's comprised of uh, normal saline, lidocaine, epinephrine, and bi sodium bicarb to um, numb the area. And um, there are kind of large amounts of volume going in through a blunt cannula. When I'm doing body area treatments, I usually use a pump to infuse the uh, tumescent anesthetic and in this case I'm just hand infusing because it's a small delicate area. Now you can see that the skin has already been numbed and do you see how it's blanched? It just kind of turned white and that's from the epinephrine which also stops the vessels from leaking and so we don't get really too much bruising after the procedure at all. Secondly, uh, the vaser probe that I'm using right now makes a little buzzing sound and it actually breaks up those fat cells. It just liquefies them for us and it spares the nerves and the blood vessels. So again, we're not causing a lot of trauma under the skin. So the patients really come out of this procedure with very minimal swelling or bruising um, afterwards and have a much quicker recovery than if we were just doing traditional lipo. There is some heat that's generated from the vaser probe. So um, in a young patient like this, we can expect a decent amount of tightening to occur, um, more so than traditional lipo. If the patient is older and there is more laxity in the skin, uh, we may still see better retraction of the skin using vaser versus traditional lipo, but we may want to add a procedure like body tight, which gives us additional tightening to the area using a radiofrequency procedure to truly heat the skin. Now, this is the last step of the lipo where I am starting to extract the fat. So I'm using, again, just a hand suction in this case because it's a small delicate area and it doesn't need a lot of uh, suction pressure so you can see this beautiful yellow fat coming out of the chin area um, and you can immediately start seeing the area contour the patient by the way has been extremely comfortable throughout this process she has really not felt it at all the only part that patients feel is the initial um, numbing where the tumescent anesthetic is being injected, but it's very comfortable and it numbs very quickly. So here we are just getting the fat out. You can see a beautiful color of the fat. This fat can actually be transferred back into other areas of the body, especially the face. So if, it, if one wants, we can actually use this beautiful fat, um, especially uh, for transferring back to the cheeks, under eye hollows, or other parts of the face where we might use a filler, and then you have a more long-lasting filler option with this fat. In this case, we just discarded it, but you can see with the vaser technology, it breaks up those fat cells, so the um, fat cells to be transferred if one wishes to are actually much healthier and survive better. This is the procedure and I hope you enjoyed watching it. It's extremely gratifying. Patients love it and they're back to their normal activities fairly quickly. We tell you to take it easy for a week or two. You do have to wear a compression chin strap which just wraps around your face for about two days continuously and then just in the evenings or when you're home for another uh, two weeks if you can. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please do continue watching our content and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Like our content, comment on it, share it, 
and let us uh, know if we can answer any questions and we look forward to helping you. Thank you so much.